Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we will discuss from question number 16. Which of the following disadvantages applies to tissue culture? Option A. Clone may be genetically unstable. Option B. Clone may be infertile. Option C. Clone karyotype may be altered. Option D. All of the choices are correct. So the correct option is option D. All of the choices are correct. So option A, option B, option C all are correct. Question number 17. A flagellated motile sperm fertilizing a non-motile egg is called Option A isogamy, Option B anisogamy, Option C oogamy, Option D all of the choices are correct. So the correct option is Option C oogamy. Question number 18. A type of Sangami in which both fusing gametes are flagellated but different in size are known as Option A isogamy, Option B anisogamy, Option C oogamy, Option D all of the choices are correct. So the correct option is Option B anisogamy. Question number 19 A type of Singami in which both fusing gametes are flagellated and same in size are known as Option A isogamy, Option B anisogamy, Option C oogamy, Option D all of the choices are correct. So the correct option is Option A isogamy. Question number 20. Question number 20 हमारे पास. And in uh, gymnosperms the main plant is deployed and option A homosporous. Option B heterosporous, option C microsporous, option D megasporous. So the correct option is option B heterosporous. Question number 21. In gymnosperms, female gametophyte consists of gymnosperm ke andar jo female ka gametophyte hota hai wo kis cheez ke upar consist hota hai? Option A pollen tube, option B microspore. Option C, 2 to 5, Archeogonia. Option D, both B and C. So the correct option is Option C, 2 to 5, Archeogonia. Question number 22. In gymnosperms, male gametophyte develop from Option A, Microspore. Option B, Megaspore. Option C, Embryo sac. Option D, Synergids. So the correct option is option A microspore. Question number 23. In gymnosperms, male gametophyte consists of option A archegonia, option B megaspore mother cell, option C pollen tube, option D ovule. So the correct option is option C pollen tube. Question number 24. In angiosperms, what gives rise to seed after fertilization? Option A, microsporangium. Option B, pollen tube. Option C, megasporangium. Option D, none of these. So the correct option is option C, megasporangium. Question number 25. In gymnosperms and angiosperms, the egg is produced in a female structure called Option A, a seed. Option B, a stamen. Option C an ovule, option D a pollen grain, so the correct option is option C an ovule. Question number 26. If someone gives you a plant and tells you that it is an angiosperm, you know that during its life cycle it will produce. Option A swimming sperm, option B a, pro a prothallus, option C flowers. Option D, cones. So the correct option is option C, flowers. Question number 27. The transfer of pollen grains to the female part of the plant is called Option A, germination. Option B, reproduction. Option C, pollination. Option D, fertilization. So the correct option is option C, pollination. Question number 28. The production of new plants from underground stems is an example of Option A. Sexual reproduction Option B. Asexual reproduction Option C. Zygote 
and option D none of the above so the correct option is option B asexual reproduction question number 29 which one of the following is the male reproductive part of a flower is me say kone sa part hai jo ki male ka reproductive part hai flower ke andar option A stamen option B sepal option C petal and option D pistils so the correct option is option A stamen is the male reproductive part of flower question number 30 in seed plants sperm travel down through what to reach the egg option A stigma tube option B ovule tube option C pollen tube option D stamen tube so the correct option is option C pollen tube so dear students this is our lecture stay connected Allah Hafiz